Have you ever looked at your daily statement and felt a bit lost? Between the numbers, fees, and total trades, it can be overwhelming. Don't worry, I'm going to break it down so you can stay on top of your trades and understand your profits and losses clearly. I'm Ian Blanke, the Director of Brokerage Services at EdgeClear, and I'm going to walk you through how to read a futures statement. Having a strong understanding of your statement is key to managing your positions effectively and knowing where you stand in the market. Let's start with the basics. Your daily statement contains all of the essential information about your positions. While every FCM or broker may present statements a little differently, most will include the following details. First, the transaction history for the completed trades made. This is a list of all of the trades that you've made during the statement period, including buys, sells, and the number of contracts. This section also shows you your commissions, exchange fees, regulatory fees, and any routing fees. We'll get into more detail on these fees later on. Next is the purchase and sales or realized profit and loss figures. This section, like the first section, breaks down your total buys and sells, but includes the specific offsetting orders and the size of the trade and your gross P&L for that trade. After this, you'll see open positions if you carried any open positions through the end of the trading period your statement covers. We'll get into more detail on open positions later in this video as well. Finally, you'll see an account summary, which is a high level overview of your account balance. This includes cash balance, total equity, and your total margin requirements for any open positions. While these sections provide a snapshot of your activity, understanding the details that follow is crucial for seeing how your trades impact your account. One of the most important parts of your statement is the breakdown of costs and fees. You'll commonly see the following areas. Commissions, which are the fees you pay to your broker for executing each trade. Commissions are charged per contract. Next, you'll see exchange fees. This is because exchanges charge their own fees for facilitating trades. These will be listed separately from commissions and are also charged per contract. Exchange fees can vary depending on the market as well. Next, you'll typically see NFA fees, which stands for National Futures Association. If you're trading US-based futures contracts, you'll have pay NFA fees. This fee is two cents per contract at the time of this video. Finally, you'll see any transaction or order routing costs that may be assessed depending on the provider you're using. If applicable, you may also see interest earned or charged on your account, depending on the broker's policies. All of these costs are important to track as they can eat into your profits or add up over time. Another important note when reviewing your statement is checking your open positions. If you're someone who carries positions over multiple sessions, or even if you're simply looking at the P&L confirmation area of your statement, you may notice that the sequence of fills seems different from what your platform shows, or the last trade filled for that trading session may not be the position that shows open on your statement. This is because your platform is showing you the sequence of fills as they come through, which is FIFO or first in, first out. However, the way the exchanges handle trade confirmations and the way they are displayed on statements is a bit different. Here are the rules for statement handling of offsetting trades and open positions. Rule one, trades bought and sold during the same trading session are always offset first. This is done by matching the lowest buy price with the lowest sell price. If the number of contracts bought does not equal the number of contracts sold for that session, the resulting open position will be the highest price buy or highest price sale. Rule number two, if the number of contracts purchased is not equal to the number of contracts sold within a given trading session, the unpaired trades are matched against open positions bearing the oldest trading date, following FIFO or first in, first out. Rule number three, when trades in the most recent session offset against open positions from your previous session, the lowest price position from the prior trading day is offset first, then the next lowest price, and so on. The important thing to note with these rules is despite any difference between how your positions were offset on your front end platform and how they are offset on your statements, your equity ends the same in either case. Some FCMs will allow you to set up statements to match how your platform is showing positions. You can contact your broker at EdgeClear to get more information about that. Another important note, statements are essentially the backbone of your trade confirmations. If something looks off on your statement, it is imperative 
you contact your broker as soon as possible with any questions. Understanding how to read your futures statement is essential for staying on top of your trading and ensuring you're aware of all costs and your P&L and any open positions. While each statement may look a bit different, the key elements, account summary, positions, costs, and profit and loss are all universal. By reviewing these carefully, you'll have a clear picture of your trading activity and financial standing. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about reading your statement or need help calculating your profits and losses, feel free to reach out to EdgeClear at the link in the description. See you next time and happy trading.